Hello. Something I've been asked recently is how it's possible to put a soundtrack, a music track, to a PowerPoint presentation so that the PowerPoint presentation itself runs automatically with each slide advancing automatically using transitions, but with the same music track playing over the whole thing. Well, first of all, yes, that is possible. And secondly, it's really easy. First of all, of course, you need the soundtrack. I've got my soundtrack from audioblocks.com. A great website, use them a lot. Um, and I'm going to drop that into this presentation. Now, this presentation, uh, you can see on the left-hand side, just a bit of fun. Um, I've gone to transitions and I've actually put an automatic cut transition uh, the last 10 seconds and that is automatically going to advance not on a mouse click but after one second so every one second the slides will um, go from one to the next taking about 10 seconds uh, sorry one tenth of a second to do that so um, that's set up so that the slides play automatically that's the first thing uh, the second thing is I'm going to drop the audio into uh, slide 2. Uh, just because there's a very slight delay at the beginning of the audio, I could tweak and edit the audio track to get rid of that delay, but for the moment I'm just going to put it straight into slide 2. So how do we do that? Uh, right, first of all then, click on the slide where you want the audio to begin, and then head up to Insert. Then come along to the right hand side to where it says Audio. Click on that. And as long as you have saved the audio already on your computer, then just click audio on my PC. That will allow you to then choose um, the audio track. This is the one that I'm using. So double click that. And then this will appear as a little sort of mini player in your slide. And you can in fact play that and preview it and so forth. Now, that won't automatically start playing as soon as your presentation begins or as soon as this slide loads. So what we have to do is just change a couple little things. First of all, make sure this audio track is selected. It doesn't really matter where you put it on this because it's not going to be visible. So at the top with it selected, you'll have this menu option here and we're gonna change three things. First of all, the start. We don't want it to start when we click the slide we want it to start playing automatically, so we change that. The second thing we're going to choose is for it to play across slides. Now, this is important because otherwise what will happen is this music track will play whilst this slide is visible, but as soon as we go on to the next slide, the audio will stop playing. So we need that to be checked, that uh, box ticked, so that the audio will continue playing no matter what slide we're on. And the third thing that we want to do is to hide this audio player during the show. So we tick this box here that says hide during show. Now you can of course still see this in your design uh, mode here, but once you play the presentation, the little uh, audio player there will be invisible. So that's all there is to it. You have got obviously other little bits and pieces like fading in and fading out. I'm not going to worry too much about that for the moment, so let's just see how this works then. So I'm going to uh, play the slideshow and uh, we'll just see a few seconds of how this works. So if I click the play slideshow button down here. There you go. Okay, just a bit of fun there, uh, quickly to, to demonstrate how that's possible. Um, we could tweak the uh, the timing and everything. I'm not going to worry too much about that for now. Um, <clears throat> the point is, it is possible to have an audio track playing over the whole presentation, and that's exactly how it's done. I hope you found that useful. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please do leave them below. And if you liked the video, please consider uh, clicking the like button. And of course, it would be brilliant if you could subscribe as well, because then you'll be the first to know when the next top tip comes out. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.